drafting to pass with time, is, um, five minutes have we? Yeah. Uh, um, so while I'm here, I'd just like to say thank you to a few people who have helped me do this, um, apart from the foreign student itself. Sorry. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to a few people who have helped me do this. Um, it, it was a labour of love, really, and um, I, I, I spent about 1,100 hours sculpting this statue to get it just right. Um, from video and DVD and everything else, and um, I am pleased with it. But it was from the help of a lot of other people, um, in particular my wife Hayley there, who didn't see me for four months pretty much while I was doing it. And um, I'd like to, and there's a, my model is here as well, who is a Captain Marion model. Tony is here somewhere. Thank him. There's a cheer going on there. And uh, but more importantly, um, I'd just like to say thanks to Stuart and Corinne who organised all this. It's their drive, and they did it all out of um, a voluntary, no payment. And the hours and the effort into the, all of this is just incredible. And they're the ones that need a, a big uh, round of applause, I think, in the time come. <laughs> and one more person we've got to thank, of course, is um, uh, Arpelo himself, Captain Mannerin, for. Um, Creating such a legendary character, we all love and you know love and know so well. So, well, I hope you like the statue anyway. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Very well, thank you very much, Sean. I'd like to call upon David now to uh, cut our ribbon and come forward and unveil the statue. Uh, but before, did you want to have a quick word, David, uh, before you do that? Hello, nice to see you. Nice to welcome you. Get, 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 get a bit nearer. Can't, can't get nearer than there. It's very nice to be here and to be in, within sight of the Bell Hotel. Arthur was um, a, a, a regular customer here. Uh, I always remember him. He's very particular about his early morning tea. He, he only wanted his tea with one bag. And I remember him on well, one occasion with his tea. And he charged along the passage here to see the girl who delivered it and said, You've done it again, haven't you? You've given me two bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll have a nice welcome expression on his face when we, when we unveil it. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a picture, it's a marvellous idea to have it here. So, uh, orange coloured scissors. <laughs> what do I cut? I want you to cut this and walk forward, please, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss your thumb. That's it. No thumb. Lovely. Thank you. Bring it in.
to sit next to you. <laughs> I remember the time here when um, one of the autograph hunters was, was uh, outside the cave coach. And they said, uh, somebody said to him, have you got the all, everyone's autograph? He said, yes, I've got most of them. So, have you got him? He said, no, not him. He's a miserable old toad. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, good, quite a good smiling expression, actually. Lifelike. Um, I'd like to ask our patron of the Theft Dads on Museum, Bill Pertwee, to say a few words. Bill, did you want to have a sit down next, next to Arthur? Or? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to sit on my own with Arthur. <laughs> Just like to say, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, there's, there's something about this hotel that I shall never, ever forget, particularly in the mornings, when Arthur was going to have his breakfast, and um, somebody would come round, probably, well, all, all the crew would be in out since six o'clock, and there was Arthur sitting down at breakfast, and somebody would come in, We're, we've got ten minutes to get on the coach, boys, if that's all right. He said, go away, go away. I haven't had my breakfast yet. And what have you got? Have you got some ham? I, I don't want to let that slippery stuff. Ham off the bone, not the bone. <laughs> so we haven't got that till this morning. Well, I have a kipper then. And I want the tail and the head left on. Do you mind? And uh, you come and ask him again, you know. Uh, uh, we've, we've got five minutes after to go away. <laughs> and just as we were about to get on the coach, then John Murray would jump up and say, Hold on, hold on! I've only had one cup of tea and that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what breakfast was like. Never mind about anything else. <laughs> but he sat in that corner of Arthur always. Of the bell over there. There we are. So I'm going to get up behind these very um, prestigious. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.